All right, guys, today we have a brake cylinder here leaking. So this car came in, you press the brake pedal, brake pedal goes all the way down and around the wheel of the tire. All right, so around the wheel, we see a lot of fluid and uh, the brake light is on. This uh, customer, she said she kept on putting brake fluid and every other day it disappeared. But there it is, guys. Remove the tire, the drum sometimes is locked in, just tap it with the hammer, but bam, all right, look at that. Look at that brake fluid in there, all right? So this is pretty much leaked out. And uh, when you're doing this job, replace everything, guys. It's gonna be costly, but what can you do? I did give an estimate to this customer and she declined most of the stuff. There's nothing I can do. She said, just fix the cylinder and let it go. I told her the brake pads are very, very old. Look at that, all right? And, but I can't do nothing with that. And then all I have to do, do is make a receipt with a disclaimer. This is what the customer requested and declined the rest of the work. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to change the cylinder. Very easy, very simple job, right? So let me order the part. Uh, the cylinder is right here and it leaked right there, all right guys? So we'll continue in a little bit. To begin, uh, we're gonna clean this off. So we have a clean working area. So just take a parts cleaner, brake cleaner, spray it down really good. All right, that's the last of that. I got another bottle there. Not looking so good, you know, I shouldn't even do the job. Let me move my camera back, cause this is just, I don't wanna mess up my camera for a small job. And this is the last time I'm gonna do it. Next time I gotta tell the customer I can't do the job because this is, I don't even feel good about myself doing this. Look at this. Brake pads are no good. Anyways, the shoes are no good. She says she goes two blocks down, and but you need brakes for two blocks. You know, even if you start it, you put it to drive. You don't have brakes, the car's gonna take off. But anyways, let's continue. Uh, I'll show her what's going on here. I'll take pictures. Okay, so we're right back of this. This is where the shoes are, right in the back. There's a brake line here. So you could do two things guys. First, remove this line right here. You don't have to completely remove it. You can loosen it. Sometimes that line will not budge. But this one's pretty good, all right? Not bad. Sometimes this will twist with that. And uh, then you need to heat it because this line is corroded into that screw. The, the fitting of the line but that's not the case here guys but there you go pretty good all right so all that did was losing it and we're gonna go i'm gonna go get number 10 so i could completely remove it all right i went and got me number 10 here you can even remove this little fitting right here the bleeder valve if you don't if you don't want this thing to bother you but guys look at that pretty smooth Let that be, all right? Now, the line is pretty loose. I can always remove it later on. Next, you're gonna have number number eight. Number eight, there's always gonna be two bolts here. It could be eight, 10, or 12. It could be any size. Usually common is eight and a 10. So I have a number eight right here, right on the other side here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out that bolt completely. That's what's holding this cylinder in, guys. All right, let me see if I can put my light in a better angle. There you go, that's much better. All right, that's one. And let me get the other one out of there also. So this is the second bolt here. And the cylinder should be loose after that and I, now I can completely remove that brake line there, the hydraulic line. 
and then we could pop off that cylinder. And there's the second bolt. They're both the same sizes, so I'm not gonna worry about. All right, guys. Let me pick up my wrench that I dropped earlier. Make sure you have a bucket down below because there's gonna be probably there's gonna be a brake fluid in here. Her system is like almost empty. He had the brake line on, brake light. I'm sorry. Sometimes, if this is seized, you can always grab the cylinder and twist it off if that's possible. All right, guys, there it is. No fluid is coming out. So we are gonna bleed the system. All right, guys, so this cylinder is pretty much loose. All we need to is do is get it out of there so let's bring our camera and light on this side so we can see together all right guys so next step is all we need to do is open this and pop that cylinder out of there you can always remove the spring or you could use a pry bar to open this you can put it here and just grab both of the pry bars and squeeze it and uh, I'll show you, let me go get my two pry bars. Or you could do one at a time at a side. You can't do it too far because these little retainers are gonna block you. All right, so if you want, you could gently do that. Just be careful because this hardware kit, the adjustment screws and everything are gonna wanna come out. All you need to do is, even a good idea would be, what I forgot is, uh, you can remove that bleeder valve. That's gonna help you really get that cylinder out of place. All right guys, here it comes. If someone can help you, that's even better. I don't have help, so it's a problem for me to even try getting help all right guys there it is and after that you can just let it go the adjustment screw there is gonna hold it for you and there's the leaking cylinder guys if it's leaking in here the seals give up over time all right so what I'll do is I have to wait for the new cylinder I'll spray this some more be careful you don't get contamination into that line All right, so guys, let's wait for the new cylinder and we'll continue. All right, guys, so we have the part here and there's the part number on it, 37787. This is made by Doorman. And uh, let's open it up. Guys, you can check out my Amazon uh, link down below. You'll find a lot of stuff on it, not just this and uh, other products. But anyways, just click the link down below. And you will see a lot, a lot of stuff there. And here it is. All right, guys, it has a little cover here. And what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna push this cylinder in. Very simple. We're gonna get the cylinder in there. Just take a good look at it, and that's what it looked like. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. All right, so all we're gonna do is, we do have to, see this? We had to turn this a little bit so they're flat that way so they could go into the brake shoes there. Same thing here, so just turn it a little bit. And we're gonna just gently take this and just drop it in there, just the same way we took it out. All right, and I'm gonna leave it there and I'll grab my pry bars. We'll do the same thing, guys. We'll open this up. And we'll push the cylinders in. Well, you could squeeze these little guys in.
Almost got it, guys. Almost there. Got one side in, but I'm not able to maneuver this one around. All right, there you go, guys. We have the cylinder in its place and it's in the proper spot. Now we're gonna go in the back and we're gonna take our camera to the back and we're gonna put the bolts in. All right, guys, from right from back over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first take our bolts, put the bolts in. Should be easy for you to catch threads. Do make sure you have the threads before you tighten them. Get them both in there. Once you have them in there guys, let's lock up both of these bolts. All right guys, and let's tighten this. So I'm gonna get one first and I'm gonna snug it. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way. And then I'm gonna get the second one. Make sure you look at this side and it's flush. This one looks flush. So pretty much it's flat to the surface from this side. If you're doing this on your vehicle, guys, if your brake pads, shoes look bad, just change them. I work for customers, so if the customer declines, there's nothing I can do. You know, it's not my car, if it's my car, of course I will change the shoes in this car. And uh, anyways, there we have it, guys. And uh, what we're gonna do next is, but let me clean up my tool here. We're gonna take our line here and we're gonna align the brake line here. And this one's pretty easy. A lot of times you won't have luck like I have here. Alright guys, there it is. I caught the threads. Now, I'll just bleed. Uh, I'm sorry, not bleed. I'm not at the point of bleeding. So I have to break, break fluid in there. I'll tighten this little guy. For a car to be this old, this is 2000 Dodge Neon. It's pretty good condition on this brake line here unless somebody changed it, you know, because usually Dodgers, they're rushed out really good. All right, guys, nice and tight. Make sure you bleed the system. I'm not going to be showing that on the video, but make sure you do bleed the system. All right. So put the fluid in and then bleed it and make sure it's nice and good to go. All right, this is nice and tight guys. So we're pretty much done here. I'm gonna do one last thing guys. I'm gonna spray this down more. Have my drain bucket down there. Let me spray this down a little bit more guys. And then I'm gonna clean the drum because the customer don't want the shoes or the drum. All right guys, we're pretty much done here guys. I want you to subscribe, share and like all of my videos. And if you have any questions, please send me a message. But I'm gonna clean the drum from inside out and I'm gonna put the drum on, I'm gonna put the brake fluid in it and then I'm gonna bleed it. You're not gonna see that section. But there's always a video that you can find on YouTube about how to bleed the brake system. Same procedure, guys. Just make sure everything is nice and aligned. And that's it, guys. Thank you. Subscribe. Bye-bye. And share and like all of my videos. And I will see you on the next one. There it is, guys. New brake cylinder on this Dodge Neon. And if you have any questions, 
please send me a message.